Knox Williams here with the American Suppressor Association, and today we have some great news for the entire suppressor community. The Hearing Protection Act has been reintroduced in both chambers of Congress. For anyone who is unfamiliar with the HBA, it seeks to remove suppressors from the National Firearms Act. That means no more $200 transfer tax, no more ridiculous wait times, and no more registering. The American Suppressor Association helped write the Hearing Protection Act back in 2015 because at ASA, we believe every law-abiding citizen has the right to protect their hearing while exercising their inalienable Second Amendment rights. Just like you shouldn't have to pay a poll tax to vote, you should not have to pay $200 to protect your hearing. On January 9th, Representative Jeff Duncan of South Carolina introduced H.R. 152, making this the fourth time he has sponsored our legislation. As of filming, there are 61 co-sponsors with many more to come. On the Senate side, Mike Crapo from Idaho showed his true love of suppressors by dropping S-401 on Valentine's Day. Apparently, even Cupid suppresses his arrows. There are currently 28 co-sponsors, which is five more than the HPA has ever had in the Senate. Realistically, is HPA going to pass this Congress? Probably not. And even if it did, President Biden would certainly veto it in a heartbeat. But educating members today helps set the stage for a win down the road, and we are going to continue working hard so that one day we can look back and say, hey, Remember when we had to pay $200 and wait all that time just to buy a suppressor? That was ridiculous. I'm glad we don't have to do that anymore. If you want to help make HPA a reality, click the link below to contact your legislators. Every single voice counts, so make your voice heard today. As a nonprofit, our job is to fight for your rights, and we could not do it without your support. Your membership and your donations fund our fights in Washington, D.C. and in state capitals across the country. I promise that the American Suppressor Association will not stop fighting until suppressors are removed from the National Firearms Act and are legal to own in all 50 states. Help us protect your right to protect your hearing by making sure your membership in the American Suppressor Association is active. Visit us at asamember.com to join or renew today. That's asamember.com.